In this section, I'm going to talk about HoneyBook reporting and bookkeeping capabilities. I'm so excited because HoneyBook is really doing a lot of work in this area, and you'll see a lot of improvements coming up that aren't fully integrated yet, but I'm very excited for. This is all part of our larger course, How to Use HoneyBook, so start at the beginning of this playlist if you're new here and you want to learn how to set up everything in HoneyBook from start to finish. Just a quick reminder of what reporting is included with each plan and what I would recommend. If you use Colaney, you'll get up to 50% off um, these big prices. So the starter plan includes almost everything that we've done. The main thing that we have done so far that's not included there is scheduler and automations. But when it comes to reporting, there are some standard reports that are not included. So that's going to be with your teammates and also some of your client data. It's not so much on like the expenses and things like that, but you also don't get the profit and loss if you're on the starter plan. Um, so once you start using this for bookkeeping, I would recommend the essentials plan. I don't think a lot of the people watching here are going to need the premium plan just yet, if ever at all. Um, and the essentials plan is super reasonable and includes pretty much everything. And especially if you want to use the QuickBooks Online integration, uh, you'll want to start with the Essentials plan. If you're not quite ready to dive into the bookkeeping and reporting, you can go with the starter plan and then potentially upgrade to Essentials when you're ready. So let me show you what all of that looks like. So we'll go into Tools and under Finance, there's a few different tabs and these are really all connected to each other except for reports. So we'll start there. And you can see exactly which ones are included. And then these two require an upgrade. So some team members um, about who's involved with what project and then client reporting, which is like client info, number of projects and some stats on your clients. What I love about HoneyBook is that they really want to help you make improvements that are effective for your business. So as opposed to just providing the info of who's paid what when, they want to actually give you some insights that will help you make better decisions in your business. Um, so you can download these reports, which are just some specific information. But if you look at this page, you'll get a few things. So we have our monthly sales report here. We have booked versus sent files. I think that's really helpful because that will give you your booking rate. And they divide that out usually by month, but they also in, divide it by lead source. So you'll see um, your different lead generation from different contact forms, and you can see the distribution by lead source. So you can tell like, okay, Google sent me one client, but wedding planners haven't sent me any clients. So maybe I won't focus my attention on wedding planners anymore. Uh, you can also see the value of these by lead source, which is great because maybe wedding planners are only sending you you know, half as many clients, but maybe they're much more valuable clients. And so you're getting a lot of information there. Conversion is helpful too. Instagram, for instance, is notorious for getting me leads, but not as many conversions. Um, and then time to book, which could be something that affects your business a lot. It doesn't affect my business too much because most people are on a pretty tight turnaround because they have to book invitations for their wedding at some point, but that might be something that's helpful. So I love these insights because they help you make better decisions about where to spend your time in your business and where the most value is coming from. And you can also uh, customize the date ranges for these. So I think I, I really like these reports, to be honest, compared to other systems like this that I have studied and educated on. Then in this finance tab, you'll also see the payments, expenses, and profit and loss. And those are all actually really under this bookkeeping section. So you can get to them really easily together. So the payments is any payment that is coming in. In general, I think that HoneyBook and a lot of these systems are decent at reporting. HoneyBook is one of the better ones if all of your payments are coming into HoneyBook. However, if you're getting paid in other places, then I'm still gonna recommend an accounting software such as QuickBooks, which you can integrate here. The reason is because you can't get a picture of your full business. So this page kind of doesn't even matter too much if you're accepting payments in a lot of different areas as well. Similarly, in the expenses tab, if you want to create any expenses, you have to kind of manually create them. They're not automatically pulling from your credit card or any expense account that you're using. Whereas in QuickBooks, for instance, you can just attach your credit card and every time you spend money on it, the expense is going directly into QuickBooks and then you can tie it to the job. So it's just doing a lot of that work for you because it's an accounting software. Same with like Wave or WooCommerce or any of those like accounting softwares that are specifically designed for that. If you are collecting all of your payments here 
in HoneyBook and your expenses are fairly simple, so it's not a big deal to add them in manually, then this could be a really good option for you. I know some businesses where that applies. However, that's just not something that applies to my business because I'm taking payments on Etsy and in Shopify and in person and in a lot of other ways outside of HoneyBook. However, I mentioned they're doing a lot on financing and I can't give like specific dates of when these things will be available. Um, but by the time you watch this, this, it could already be available. They are actually working on adding in things to HoneyBook Finance where you can connect outside accounts. So you'd be able to connect a bank account, you'd be able to connect a credit card, and you will be able to do a lot of those things that accounting softwares can't. So that's something that I don't see on the pipeline with other systems. And I think if that's something that's really important to you and you want to eventually be able to get rid of QuickBooks entirely or expand your business in a way outside of these capabilities, then I think HoneyBook is a good place to invest because they are really working on the accounting side and they're also just really responsive to users in general and do a lot of advancements that the users ask for. So we have our profit and loss, which is the most common accounting statement that you're going to need. And this is very simple in here. It's going to give you um, all of your different expenses, all of your different payments. You can uh, select these for any time period. And this will help you just see how your business is doing at an overall level. Again, this is included in the essentials plan, not in the starter plan. And then lastly on reporting, I just wanna mention the QuickBooks integration, which we'll talk about in the integration section as well. It syncs up pretty well. It's a good option. This is better than some of the other QuickBooks integration with similar systems because HoneyBook processes its own payments. So they go into QuickBooks with the fees um, kind of separated out correctly. Whereas for the systems that process through Stripe or PayPal or something else, um, they're not going to have the fees separated out correctly. So you have to do a little bit more manual correction. And it's really easy to connect in that QuickBooks. Um, a lot of people ask me the difference between something like HoneyBook and QuickBooks. And I think it really comes down to QuickBooks being able to connect to all these other different banking institutions, um, as well as any kind of credit card or bank account that you might have. Whereas HoneyBook at this time is pretty much only tracking the payments that happen here in HoneyBook and any expenses you would have to enter in manually. That's hopefully going to change soon, but I can't tell you exactly when. So if that's really important to you, I would rely on an accounting software that's dedicated to that kind of work. Um, I think we've seen throughout this course all the amazing things that HoneyBook can do in addition to accounting, so we're going to let that one slide for now um, and until those features are available, which I will have more videos on them when they become available. So definitely check back in for those updates. So to finish out this course all about HoneyBook, I'm going to talk about integrations in the next video and also give you an exercise with a free download where you can figure out how to map out your process flow for your business and get started with the most bang for your buck here on HoneyBook.